This lesson is going to be on angle relationships, okay? And in other words, how two angles relate to each other. Uh, in future, we're going to be talking about transversals and that kind of thing. We need to learn some definitions. So right off the bat, we're going to go and talk about adjacent angles, okay? So adjacent just means angles that are next to each other. And I have an app that I made using GeoGebra. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of adjacent angles. Uh, actually, before we do that, let, let's let's just learn the learn the rest of these definitions. So two angles next to each other, we will look an example of that. All right, next we have a linear pair. Linear pair means two angles that form a 180 degree straight line. A linear pair, another name for that, is actually supplementary. So supplementary and, and linear pair mean the same thing. <coughs> next we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles that are opposite the sides of an X formed by two lines. So for example, an angle up here and an angle down here would be a vertical angles, or this angle and this angle would be vertical. They're on the opposite sides of the X. Just as a refresher, two angles that up to 90 are called complementary. That's actually an example of an angle relationship. And two angles that add up to half a circle's circumference, 180 degrees, are supplementary. That's an also an example of an angle relationship because it's how they relate to each other. So let's pull up that GeoGebra app and answer these questions. So it says, name a vertical pair of angles that are both obtuse. Now we've already learned these in a previous lesson, obtuse means bigger than 90. So we have to find two angles that are bigger than 90 and our vertical pair. So let's pull up this app. So what are two angles on here that are bigger than 90 and form a vertical pair that are vertical? So I'm going to notate a little bit with my pen here. As you can see, and in fact, I can change this a little bit just to make it a little bit more clear. Angle E right here, this angle up, or sorry, angle BEC, is definitely bigger than 90. Vertical means it's opposite the X would be this orange angle right here, angle AED. So for this first question we could say angle C E or B E C and A E D are two angles that are opposite each other and are vertical. B E C and A E D. Okay. And when you denote an angle, you put the angle sign in front of it. Okay? This means angle B E C and angle A E D. They are both obtuse, bigger than 90, and they are opposite sides of the X. So they are form a vertical pair. Next, name two adjacent complementary angles. So adjacent means they're next to each other, and complementary means they add up to 90 degrees. Pulling this back up, I see a 90 degree angle. Okay, it's um, this angle right here. So two angles that are next to each other and form 90 would be GBH and FBH. They are right next to each other and they form 90 degrees. GBH and FBH. So we're just going to write, for some reason I don't know why I did that. We're going to write GBH and FBH. And again, those are both angles. Okay. So next, it says name a vertical pair of angles that are both acute. So they have to be vertical like before, but they have to be smaller than 90. Going back to our app, why did it go back to that? Uh, let's see. Vertical angles are both acute. Okay, going back to our app, let's see. Uh, that would be these two angles, okay? They're vertical, but they're less than 90. So AEC and DEB. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just kind of putting two different terms together to find angles that match these criteria, both acute and vertical, or whatever. This says name two non-adjacent angles. Two non-adjacent angles. So non-adjacent means they're not next to each other. So this one's very open-ended. There's a lot of different choices here. But I can definitely say right off the bat, you know, angle GEBH angle G, is nowhere near CEA. 
they are not next to each other so we can use that example or you can find your other any other example you want so I'm going to say GBH and CEA okay a few more questions to answer name a linear pair of angles linear pair means it forms 90 degrees so looking at this, you know, there, there's a lot of different um, possibilities, but you have to find two angles that form 90 degrees. That's what, uh, sorry, 180 degrees. Well, that's what a linear pair is. I would say CEB and DEB. You know, if you add up this green and this blue angle, that's going to form a straight line. So CEB and DEB. Certainly, there are many more examples. CEB and DEB is going to be mine. Okay, and you, you know you can put. You, you, I'm not putting the angle uh, symbol next to it, but maybe we should do it for both. Um, finally, it says name a pair of supplementary angles. Well, guess what? That's actually the same as linear pair. It's the same thing. So we'll go back through and find another linear pair. Um, what do you think? What are two angles that form 90 degrees? Uh, sorry, two two angles that form 180 degrees. Um, let's see. How about um, let's see. B E D and A E D. That would form this line right here. B E D and A E D. So again, supplementary and linear pair are the same thing. So we're going to say bit bed and A E D. So that's it. There are limit. There are unlimited possibilities of combining terms for line relationships, uh, angle relationships rather, and linear pair. You know, vertical, adjacent, um, complementary, supplementary. Uh, we learned a uh, lot, lots of different terms. If you have any of the questions about angle relationships, let me know.